And it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll come on with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Your attention, please. Big hitting for the Redbirds. Number three, Vaughn Harris. And that one swung on and missed 0-1 oh, one. as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Come on, big dog. We need you. Fouled off. Be nice and patient, one at a time. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Two-run shot to straightaway center as we are all tied at five. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Genesis Cabrera gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our tops player of the game. And he was locked in at the plate up there. You could really see it in his approach and the swings he put on the ball. Oh, Finished with three base first, hits, and he certainly was a big factor run, in their victory. One error, and tonight's one-run game on comes to an end, 6-5 to five, the final. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, it's a compelling matchup of two division leaders between the Reno Aces and the Memphis Redbirds. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Brian Siffel, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get in the scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. At the plate, Dalton Varsho is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. That's lifted the other way out to left. Harris is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Last half of the second set to go. And next, the dangerous power threat, Vaughn Harris. Vaughn Harris. Hey, wait for your pitch, Rep. Huh? He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Smoke toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. Had a boy, way to swing the bat. He smoked that thing. Standing in, Lane Thomas. Runner at first to start the inning. Good. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One time, right now. Here's a look over to first. And the runner back safely. Safe. 
And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. John Nagowski will be next. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Swung on and missed that strike two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Got him to go down swinging there. John Nagowski becomes out number two this inning. Now in the box, Ivan Herrera, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? Grounded to short. Reined in. Throw to second He's for the four shot, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here. No air. Digging in for his second at bat, Tyler Wade. Second base. Tyler. The one two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Two, 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 two. Harris comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Corbin Carroll. Yeah, Left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Harris is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Vaughn Harris. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome fly, up until this point. Right 50th pitch of the game on its way. Hit high and deep to right center. Thomas is there, and he'll bring this one in. Ready for another shot now. Eric oh, Filia, runner in scoring right position with two gone. Filia. And he popped him up. Four, and no four, one can four. get there as it falls. Play at the plate, yeah, and he's okay. out. A great throw. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Hey, we got one. Ready now, Andy Young. The, the windup, and the 0-1. Yeah. Line drive to left. Harris is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Well, we've mentioned. The so digging in now, Vaughn Harris. He flew out Whoa. in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AV. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly, buddy. Get your pitch. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on. Hit in the air. And deep. Got a chance. And gone. So a two-run shot to left center, so a milestone here. And even 50 home runs on the year now. As they take the lead, it's 2-1. to one. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Vaughn Harris. The left fielder, Vaughn Harris. Come on now, one pitch, play it. Here it comes. 
hit high and deep to right center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. The Memphis Redbirds wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Brian Siffle earns his team leading 11th win. Riley Smith pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Number 62 records the save, is 22nd. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of ML. Now on your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the Reno Aces and the Memphis Redbirds. Digging in, Drew Ellis. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ellis. Here's the one two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Heads up, heads up. Whoa, and whoa. he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot but it's enough to push him out in front. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Reno leads it one to nothing. Digging in, Vaughn Harris as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Runner at second here with one man out. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 51 on the year. As they take the lead, it's 2-1. to one. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. At the plate, Tyler Wade. Now batter, the second baseman. Tyler Goddard leads off first with one away. Get on the ground to third. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Now to the plate, Vaughn Harris. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Come on, big guy. Hey, now. From the belt, the pitch. He's able to take on, the ball the other up, way here. High and deep to right center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Sable has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner the tag, and he is out. So two runs on four hits here. Now at the plate, John Hicks. The first baseman, number 55. John hit. On the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. So striding in, Blake Sable. Now batting, right fielder, Blake Sable. He's got one out here. 
Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, he makes the stop to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Striding in once again, Drew Ellis. And their runners at the corners now. Drew Ellis. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Harris is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. No runs, a hit, two left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Memphis is out on top. Leading off the inning, Rene Martinez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Digging in and looking for more, Vaughn Harris. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to saving. Now here's the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second home run of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Hit on the ground out to short. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. At the end of the day, it's all about result. He didn't do one thing right from an offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock. Vaughn Harris will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The Digging in once again, Renee Martinez. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Your attention, please. Main shooting for Reno. Number 76. Yasmani Tomas. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Harris is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One hit, one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Redbirds lead it 9-4. to four. Stepping into the box, Vaughn Harris. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. Hey, have a good rip up there, huh? He'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! A solo shot here to left. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Ten to four, the final in this game. Memphis scored ten runs on the way to victory. Kevin Herget earns his fifth winner of the year. Jackson Goddard struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.